Good morning. Happy Thursday. We're officially checking out of the Airbnb today and I am so excited to finally make Charleston our home and get settled in our house. So this is our last morning getting ready at the Airbnb. Come join us as we pack it up. to show you one of the best things that I purchased to help me stay organized three weeks living out of suitcases this was a life changer <laughs> so this awesome contraption was from Amazon and let me just tell you that this thing folds up nice and small into a compact little bag but it fits everything so I have all my makeup down here my brushes up here, my skincare, and my hair care. And it all hangs nicely just like this. This seriously kept me so organized every day in the hotel. Typically, I will open up my suitcase and I'll like empty all my makeup and hair stuff on the counter and it's a big mess. And then I have to make sure I grab it all before I kick out in the morning. This made sure it was all in the same place. And I'm so grateful I had it. So grateful. So if you're gonna be traveling, I would highly, highly recommend you get yourself one. So wanted to share some of the MVPs of the last three weeks that have kept me sane and organized. First and foremost, a shout out to this luggage that is both beautiful and functional. We've had these for more years than I can remember, and we're about ready to buy another set since our family has doubled in size since I bought them. Next are these organizers, which held all my kids' books and toys during our drive and stay here. Kellen even found these awesome headphones to buy with his birthday money with this year, and they have been working great. We're also so grateful for this baby crib, which PS collapses and fits into a gallon Ziploc bag for storage. And even though my toddler snuck not two, but three dolls into the car, they did keep her pretty entertained. So we can laugh about it now. But the top played with toy during this trip was the Picasso magnet tiles and the bluey figurines. Invest now, thank me.
another awesome tool that I bought for this move was this cord organizer. Now, it's not quite as big as I had expected. The pockets are a little bit smaller and don't fit things, but has been super duper helpful. since I didn't show you when you got here, how about a grand tour of our Airbnb before we kick it? Yeah? All right. So when you walk in the front door, there's this beautiful kitchen, and I'm sorry it's loud because the dishwasher is plain. And it opens to the living space. It's got these super cute bar stools, but I will say they've been rather annoying with kids because the kids just want to go bonk, bonk, bonk because they swivel. Cute little living room. Bathroom. Skylar and Makeda shared this king size bed, which they were thrilled about. And it has a beautiful view of the lake. Oh. Getting hot? Uh -huh. Thank you for helping. And off the living room, we have a little balcony that you guys have seen me out on a lot. Yeah. This stuff. And this is the master bedroom with the king size bed again. Overlooks the beautiful parking lot. But it's nice because our car is parked right down there so we can keep an eye on things even though it seems like a really safe area. The bathroom, as you kind of saw a glimpse of already, is super cute. Just a simple shower. And you might be wondering where the little kids slept. Well, we packed their sleeping bags and they stayed in here. Perfect, right? Was exactly what we needed, although we are so excited to get a little bit more space from each other and just run around and also be in our own home. Our own furniture, our own beds, all the things. Here we go.